For God's sake, you got to give more power to people. For God's sake, why don't you give more power to people? They coming. They coming. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me this morning. I don't want to say um, welcome to the mental health because I'm starting to realize now that we are in the same place. Uh, we're going to have to change this up a little bit. Um, but anyway, I got to come on here briefly because my dog's out there crazy and it's going to be a hot day finally here. Um, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a start this and I'm going to make it real short and sweet. First of all, you know, the guy in Charlotte, I'm going to tell you how easy it is to get sucked in and used when you don't have much mind or you easily to be misled. You're a follower. You're not the brightest bulb on the tree. Um, this guy got life plus 419 years. And that was in, a, in addition to a life sentence because of that crazy, crazy hyped up shit that he did that Donald Trump talked him into doing pretty much um, and that was to drive through all of those protesters in Charlottesville and for his stupidity that's what he was rewarded with actually for his loyalty to fear his loyalty to fear his loyalty to racism and to hate and be afraid of what he can't change or what he doesn't know about uh, whatever whatever the dynamic love or fear I gotta keep telling myself that because that's what it is that he will it now that's now he's gonna go to jail they gonna probably kill him like they did Jeffrey Dahmer but he gonna last a little while we get his ass toe off the hinges and when I say toe off, I mean toe off. Because of that second of insanity that he was hyped up in his racist spirit to do. But it don't stop there. It don't stop there. Because I really want to know how anybody at this point can really defend Donald Trump. And a part of this has got something to do with uh my this has to do with how he went at uh, Talib Omar Cortez and Presley. Now I want y'all to know that I believe he's doing this so he can take some pressure off of himself of what's going on with Epstein because that's what narcissists do. This is what they do. They begin to project and they just begin to throw all kinds of shit out their faces like a pest dispenser, spin it around, lies, 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 Never, nothing comes out. So while we run in one way, he's doing this and he tries to split you in half. And that's why a lot of people wake up every morning what, trying to know what the hell he's going to do today. That is the first sign of being with somebody with a severe personality disorder. And, and, and so I, I really kind of cut out um, listening to all these people on this internet talking about um, narcissism because a lot of them are straight racist and for some of y'all who are people of color or people that who've been brought up in an oppressed group if y'all listening to some of these people and you're validating and you co-signing Donald Trump and you don't see the narcissistic behavior of this type of nature that you claim You've been brought up in and you're telling other people how to resist against it or whatever, how to stop it from happening. Think about it. You fall in line. You same thing. Either you are a victim of these people or you turn into these people. It's the same. It's, it's, that's what it is. And so when, as I sit here and I think about how the Native American how it must feel. When 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 they see you know native black brown people that was on this land before the white man ever stepped foot on it 
And to hear these people talk about my country and you go back and this, that, and when they came out of caves in Europe. This is why you have to check your mentality and if you and if, to see how sick you are. Especially if you a a, a person of um I just say with lesser melanin, white individual, you have to check how you brought into this crazy program. Because first of all, think about it. The country was brown in the first place. And now the people that came and invaded it talking about we MAGA, make it great again, build a wall. No, that's not even normal. That's psychotic. And that's why the natives did say the white man speaks with forked tongue. His tongue is forked. That means he never tells the truth. He's a narcissist. This is what the native was trying to tell us because we're more earthly people. We're grassroots. We to the ground. Okay? That's why the Native American, that's why we can dance and dance and dance and dance and make it rain. And because we have one with nature. And if anybody got any common sense, they know never go against nature. Never. For nothing and nobody. Don't go against it. Don't go against it. You can try to guide it. You can try to guide yourself through it. But don't try to go against it. You look at what we got now. We got children in cages. Kind of look like mm, a lower grade version of the slave trade. With black people. You think they gave a damn? They sold our babies from us. Okay. And one time in this country, a slave was worth so much. A person like me was worth just like, whoa, that was a lot of money. See, to have a slave was a sign of, woo, you blessed. And it was by these 1% that founded this country who were the biggest hypocrites of them all. The idea of we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men were created equal is the truth. It's the truth. And it's a beautiful thing. But the same people that saying and doing it got slaves and raping them and killing them. How does that go? How does that? They had to convince their own mind. Go against their they go against that thought, the intelligence of, of their mind that them beating and their husband going out and having sex with them women down in the slave quarters and uh, all that shit that was happening was fine. They had to make themselves believe that. See, this was hundreds of years ago. And this is how you get flash forward to where we are today. Okay? What Donald Trump did was racist. Uh, Donald Trump is a racist. His father was a racist. He's a father was a damn Nazi. I mean, his his record supersedes him. When he came down that elevator and started talking about Mexicans was crooks and uh, thieves and rapists and whatever, and for all of y'all that stood up because he didn't win a popular vote, because most people don't believe that crazy shit. Most people don't believe that if they got any intelligence. You got lower, like I said, bo burning bulbs. Okay. But people that have any kind of intelligence realize that that's not the case. It is not the case. So what 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 we had here, we got a country that's founded on hypocrisy, which makes it okay to rape a woman, I mean, and to have sex with her and give her a bunch of kids and then say they lowered in animals. So if they lowered in animals, what are you doing down there having sex with them? What do they mean by you? Why would you have a mulatto kid? And these things, people are animals. Why would you even want to have sex with an animal? I don't even want to have sex with an animal. Most normal people don't. So you knew in your heart of hearts what you said was a lie. Because white is a construct. It ain't real. There's nothing real about it. God made us into tribes and families, families as the scriptures say, that we may get to know one another. Science says the people that were the closest to the equator are black. The first people were black. And everything came from black. Like black coffee. When you pour a little milk in it, little milk in it, little milk in it, it get lighter, 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 lighter. But where it come from is the black. Out of the darkness is how you get the light. So you are it, it, the, the thought process is we got it's, it's a lot of work and everybody can't do it. And probably, I just want to make sure as many people that hear my voice in my lifetime know that that's what, that that's what the problem is. 
You found it on hypocrisy. You know, in any kind of recovery, in order for you to make it, you got to figure out how do I start? How do I get here? How can I fix this? How do I cut out this cancer? I can't keep putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. Don't work. So those for y'all that really are sincere about what's going to happen with America, either it's going to blow up like all the other great empires. You know, and from the looks of the people that's back in control, um, this is what's going to happen. So, either you're going to, if you can't make your mind think that this country was brown before I got here and my ancestors, then you already messed up. So, when you're telling people to go back somewhere, they don't need to go back anywhere. You do, if that's the case. If you can't remember that the first thing you got to do is acknowledge this, this craziness. Like, damn, how could they say all those things that, you know, and about these beautiful things that describe the uh, Constitution, all these things, and these people are slaveholders. How does that work? You have to remember that this was a brown country first. And again, don't bet against nature. And all he's doing is going back to what it what it was. That's what's happening. The country is going back to where it was before you came down from the Caucasoid Mountain. Right? Never mock God in nature. Or nature, whatever you call it. Never mock it, never mock it, never mock it. Because you see, it's now the chickens coming home to roost. And what's making a lot of people drum up their fear is because they see a brown world. And they can't handle that. They can't handle it. Oh, you niggers, this and y'all, y'all want this, y'all want, but you never think about that y'all stole whatever we had in the first place. You can't even wrap your mind around that. All those years of free labor? Do you know what that means to a businessman? Do you know if I could have a business and just hire three or four people and never have to pay them for one year, let alone 20 years or 40 years, but just one year, let me keep their salary as I'm in business. What do you think would happen? Okay. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. Because again, the slave was worth a lot to the slave owner. But when they had no more use for that and that slavery system was breaking, broken down, that caste system is beginning to change face. Now they don't have nothing for you to do and really you know good for spare parts. That's why when you find all these people you find their body parts missing because black people body parts fit in everybody. The original man. Remember that. D defy me. Prove to me I'm wrong. That's why we don't even sign Harley the damn donor card on our license. And lastly, in my opinion, these are all my facts. Khadija's facts. No lie can live forever. None. Not a one. And pretty soon your sins will find you out. Everything must change. Nothing stays the same. No, no. Everyone will change. No one stays the same the young become the old and mysteries do unfold cause that's the way of time everything must change. I gotta stop. Y'all get it? There are not many things in life you can be sure of. Except rain comes from the cloud. The sun lights up the sky. 
and hummingbirds do fly. Woo, winter turns to spring. A wounded heart will heal. But never much to soothe. Everything must change. Ain't too many things in life that you can be sure of. So, white people, get ready. Get ready. Things are changing. And you gotta be able to accept it. Otherwise, we're gonna all perish as fools. All right. That being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I got to go. Bye bye.